someone under the radar, there was a rather large deal in the restaurant industry this week. Restaurant tech company Par Technology, which sells point of sale systems and software to more than 100,000 restaurants, acquired loyalty program provider Punch for $500 million. About $160 million in equity funding for the deal came from Panera Bread founder Ron Shake's Act 3 Holdings and T. Rowe Price. The one and only Ron Shake joins us now. Ron, good to speak with you. As always, $160 million, pardon the pun, that's a lot of bread. Why did you make this deal? Ryan, good to see you again. It's, it, it's great. Um, look, at, this is a powerful company that is on the edge of putting together the first unified commerce platform for the restaurant industry for enterprise level clients. This company right now has in its hands the ability to offer what is the heart of every restaurant in its digital apparatus, which is, which is essentially that commerce platform. With the addition of Punch, they have the front end of it. They have loyalty, they have customer, they already have POS. They're building out the other pieces of it. The problem I can tell you is somebody who built tech systems in the restaurant industry, and Panera was clearly one of the leaders. The problem is when you try to combine disparate systems, when you try to bring them together, you end up in a situation where those, um, th where the processing is 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 often cumbersome. It doesn't speak to each other. The pieces don't speak to each other. It's difficult for management. It 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 frankly um, reduces the agility of innovation. Uh, what 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 these guys are offering, and will be in the position to offer, is going to be powerful when they combine Brink with with Punch. Now now, having said that, Brian, I'll, I'll share with you something. This stock has been up fourfold in the last year and a half since uh, uh, Sami um, Singh took over as CEO. Uh, this company, um, it's been a fourfold. Those are investors that are saying they get the vision. The reality is with this acquisition, we as people who are players in the industry, I'm not just an investor, we're also customers. We and T. Rowe Price are saying we believe in that vision. But it's not just us. The founders of Punch, who are essentially taking equity in this transaction, they're saying they believe in the vision. And I think all of us are coming together to say we have the opportunity to build something that's extraordinarily powerful, that's going to dominate uh, potentially uh, this the, the technology to the restaurant industry for for shall we say enterprise class clients. This is something big, Ron. It this is this is a lot of money. This is significant significant investment by you. Are you starting to see a turn in the restaurant chains that you that you in fact operate? Is the business starting to turn the corner? Because I imagine not necessarily you wouldn't make this business uh, this investment per se if business was still under pressure in the restaurant industry. I, I think that that first off, the technology suppliers to the restaurant industry did extraordinarily well during COVID. There was tremendous demand because digital became um, a, an anti. And the reality is everybody wants technology. Everybody wants digital. The problem is it's really hard to do. And what PAR is going to be able to offer is an integrated approach that allows people to do it much more easily. Having said that, the restaurant industry, where we have half a dozen investments, the restaurant industry itself has been through a very difficult year. Having said that, it's coming out of that. We're seeing every day stronger and stronger sales. I believe there is powerful latent demand out there for what restaurants offer. People want to get back. They want to connect with each other. They want to be out of the house. They want to enjoy food at, 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 in, a, in, a, in an environment other than their home or their car. I think you're going to see a, a flourishing, like flowers blossoming in this country as we, as we move from the summer into the fall. And I, I think that... I'm, I'm very optimistic. I think as everybody knows, the pandemic of 18 and 19 was followed by the roaring 20s. Now, it was also followed by the Great Depression after the roaring 20s. <laughs> but, but nonetheless, I think we're in for some, uh, uh, an environment in which restaurants um, are, are gonna be the beneficiaries. Ron, you, you look uh, and sound great. Um, what if, what is, you know, we've been right, through a while since we've talked to you. How long you and I have been talking to each other. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you look good. You sound good in high spirits. How have your business has been doing through the pandemic and, and what have you learned? Well, you know, we made an investment similar to this in, in, in a company called BJ's where we and T-Row um, uh, came together and put in 75 or 80 million. It was really an, an investment that their numbers 
in 22 would be at 90 percent of 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 where they were in in 99. The reality is we're ahead of that <laughs> in every way, and the reality is that stock is up three and a half times since we made the investment. Um, the reality is the rest people want restaurants. The restaurant industry is the second oldest profession, and the, the reality is that people want what restaurants offer. They want that environment. And I think that we basically perceive um, the restaurant, the, the, the COVID period as a tax. And so the question is, when are we gonna get back to, to the way restaurants work? I think we, we believe you're gonna really start to feel that this summer into the fall. And I think we believe very firmly that we paid the tax to get here and this is going to be a very good period. I will say that's validated by our success with Kava. Kava's done extraordinarily well. Um, their comps are, uh, are relatively strong. Um, they're building out rapidly across the country. Um, we're in uh, another company called Tate, uh, which is uh, uh, just opened a second market. It's stronger than it's, it's been in its home market. We opened in DC on top of our presence in Boston where we play. We have a, a wellness concept called Life Alive, um, doing some very, very strong volumes. And then we're in a couple of other things, Farmers Business Network, which is another one of these companies that we're um, helping evolve as they, as they, as they mature. It's a large uh, a company backed by Kleiner Perkins, DBL, um, Tomasic, uh, uh, um, T. Rowe Price, Fido. Um, and, and, and we're in there on the masthead because we're uh, able to help them in some small ways. I'm on the board there. Uh, another company, Level 99, which is entertainment. I think we're really feeling very good. And I think anybody who's been able to survive through the, 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 the virus actually and, and has a strong business model, this is gonna be a very good year.